have uh, uh, five members of the media, KTRK. Uh, let's see who else we have. Uh, just a second. Uh, a Fox. Uh, we have uh, uh, Channel 61, Estrella, KHOU, and Univision 45. Thank you for joining us, uh, 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 news media. Uh, and uh, uh, anytime our leader, Johnny Mato, wants to start, he's, we have the audience. Okay. We are going to start. I want to echo, um, first of all, let me again echo what Ciro said, thank the media because of the great job they do in informing our communities. Let me say that we have called this news conference <clears throat> uh to denounce senate bill seven and house bills which create voter suppression rather than voter integrity the 2020 uh presidential elections were historical and as far as voter turnout but it also created hysteria in the Republican Party. And to counter the avalanche turnout of voters of color and conscientious voters, uh, they created a theme of election integrity. Uh, calling Senate Bill 7 and House Bill 6 election in, in, integrity is not only reprehensible, deceitful, but a backdoor approach to the days of the John Crow years. We know that we have worked many years in trying to make it easier for voters to vote. Some of the limits of who can receive absentee votes, eliminate drive-through voting, and number limiting the voters machine number number of voting machines and the voting limited in voters of ours is not only going to hurt our voters but the senior citizens in the republican party are also going to be hurt so when we talk about conscience and we talk about integrity, there appears to be a confusion on, on both words. I'm going to um, uh, come back and I will also be talking about, <clears throat> we had previously invited Texas Senator Brian Hughes who is the uh, author of Senate Bill 7 to be the guest speaker or next on April the 10th in our board meeting for LULAC. I mean, I'm sorry, the Greater Houston Coalition for Justice. But since the uh, Senate voted to uh, on SB 7, we have rescinded the uh, vote. I mean, the invitation and we uh we're now going without him i would like to call on uh my my Leno, my good friend and and let him uh uh your your call you're in from uh georgia is that correct you're muted 
Okay. Yes, I'm, I'm from Georgia and uh, uh, my brother, we're uh, receiving the same kind of uh, legislation here in Georgia, which is to uh, diminish the right of voters. As you know, in Georgia, they, uh, they ran the tally of the votes three times looking for voter fraud. There was no voter fraud. They, we had the cleanest elections run as uh, secretary of state said that, the governor said that, but now the governor's changed his position and signed a law that would take the power of uh, elections away basically from the secretary of state. And they're doing the same kind of things that they've done and are trying to do in Texas is take away the uh, number of absentee ballots and make it more difficult, voting, early voting, uh, making it more difficult, limiting the days, the numbers of hours and uh, They've even said that because we've had long voter lines, people wanted to participate. We've had voter lines from five to seven hours out in the hot sun of Georgia and people still turned out to vote. And so now they, and, and those of us who are doing voter registration and, and getting out the vote in a nonpartisan way would go and take them water and snacks because a lot of the voters that were in line were over 50 years of age and some in their seventies and eighties. And now they've outlawed that you can't give uh, water or snacks to people in line for voting. So we have uh, determined that uh, we're going to try to work around that because it's, uh, how would, why would you arrest a person for giving water, you know, and a snack to keep them going? So uh, in the bill, it says nothing about tequila, verdad? So uh, we, I jokingly, I said, well, then if they, we can't give them water, we're going to give them margaritas and nachos because nachos can become a full meal. But I think one of the things that we have to do is pressure all the people of uh, our areas. We've pressured Delta, Coca-Cola, uh, and I know they're in Texas, they're pressur pressuring American Airlines, uh, Southwest Airlines. The business people have to speak out. And as you know, the Major League Baseball will not have its all-star games now in Georgia, nor their uh, draft in Georgia. And this is going to hurt a lot of businesses. And they should have thought about that because, you know, when we talk about voter laws, we're not talking just about registering Democrats. We're talking about registering and getting everybody out to vote. That's the American process. So I'm glad that you're holding this press conference and you have a coalition there in the Houston areas. We have to fight for our democracy. And all of us have to do it uh, across the country and raise our voices and pressure business, pressure the churches, pressure the social organizations to come out and protect the right to vote. It's in our constitution and it's in the best way of preserving our democracy. So I'm very proud to be with you today. Thank you. Let me, uh, <clears throat> I, I really uh, disrespected <clears throat> the Hispanic media and Quiero uh, decir que esta rueda de prensa <coughs> fue para denunciar lo que se está proponiendo leyes que está en contra de los votantes, especialmente personas latinas, afroamericanos y otros. Y hay lo, en el Senado uh, un propósito que ya pasó el Senado, era, es lo que le llaman el, el uh, número 7 eh, del Senado y en la casa eh, en, eh, es el número 6. Es, esto es una, un abuso para los votantes. Lo denunciamos porque es una manera de uh, traernos para atrás a los días que le llaman John Crow donde de a tiro uh, personas de diferentes razas en muchos instantes y las mujeres no podían votar. Solo que tenemos que pelear estas leyes y les suplicamos a los orientes de uh, latina, raza latina, que le llamen a sus senadores, a, a la Casa de Representantes de Texas y que denuncien uh, esta, esta medida para 
imponer los derechos de los votantes latinos y otras razas. Ahora sí voy a dejar que hable a uh, uh, Ogi. En uh, Ogi, go ahead and make your statement. Then after Ogi, I, I, um, I have Cynthia and then of course Reed. And then uh, we'll uh, continue. Johnny, uh, uh, possibly uh, since uh, Leno has already uh, spoken in English, maybe he could uh, speak in Spanish and, and then, then you follow the That's fine. Okay. Bueno, uh, am I off mute? No. Bueno, mira, lo más importante para nosotros es proteger la, el voto. Para nosotros, el voto es sagrado. Es parte de nuestra constitución, parte de nuestra democracia. En Georgia, en este estado, vemos que en tiempos antes han, han hecho todos los esfuerzos posibles para que no voten los latinos, los asiáticos, los afroamericanos porque teman el voto de ellos. Mira, todos los partidos tienen el derecho de votar y queremos que todos los ciudadanos voten porque esta es parte de nuestra democracia. También te, que sabemos nosotros que las empresas grandes en, en nuestra área, como Coca-Cola, Delta Airlines, en su área, la línea de área Southwest American y otras empresas, tienen una responsabilidad. No de ser demócratas ni republicanos, pero proteger el derecho de votar. Porque el derecho de votar es lo más importante para todos los ciudadanos en, en nuestro país y parte de nuestra democracia. Por eso yo les quiero agradecer a ustedes por pararse y por hacer un esfuerzo para que estos actos de, del Senado y de la Casa de Representantes no sean leyes. Por eso tenemos que pelear, porque racismo no debe de ser parte de nuestra democracia. Gracias. Leno, ¿nos puede decir quién es usted? Yo soy uh, Magdaleno Leno Rose Ávila. Tengo una historia de derechos humanos y de trabajar por la, el sindicato de la Unión Campesina con César y Dolores Huerta. Ahorita soy un escritor y estoy trabajando por los derechos inmigrantes en la frontera de, de México, en Tijuana, y también estoy uh, en la mesa directiva de un grupo que está ingresando jóvenes de las universidades para votar. Pero más o menos soy un México americano chicano que quiere participar más en su democracia. Good, good morning. Uh, my name is Agustin Pinedo, uh, LULAC District 18 Director. In behalf of LULAC and the Latino community, we're greatly concerned as to the passage of uh, Bill Number 7 on April Fool's Day of all days. Makes it, uh, it, it, it's telling us they consider us as fools, perhaps. But this bill is very suppressive of voters. It uh, limits the number of hours that they can stay open. Uh, it, like the last election, they were able to stay open later to allow for the large numbers of people to vote. This bill limits the, the hours from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. In addition, it prohibits uh, drive-through voting. And also it requires that you have a medical certificate if you are claiming disability and uh, to be able to, to vote absentee. Now, uh, th these bills are, are, are very uh, pernicious and, and, and hurt the Latino and African American population especially. And the, the reason for that is that there are uh, uh, Republicans are obviously alarmed because they saw that large numbers of people voting the last time And so their aim is to suppress it, to keep it down. That figure, that's the only way they're going to win. Now, uh, let me say it in Spanish. Uh, para los uh, televidentes eh, hispanos, uh, mucho gusto de verlos. Yo soy Agustín Pinedo, el director del Lula, el Distrito 18. Estamos aquí hoy para hablar en contra del propósito número 7, 
que pasaron el primero de abril, el Día de, lo, de los Tontos. Eh, la, la administración republicana uh, está alarmada de los números que vieron en la elección pasada y lo que quieren hacer es suprimir el voto. Están limitando uh, muchas cosas. El, el, uh, no puede uno manejar drive-thru que le dicen y votar. Uh, para las personas que, que están enfermas, van a tener que tener certificado médico para que se les pueda, pueda votar en sentido. ¿Pero qué? Entonces, y uh, también uh, va a permitir observadores que puedan venir y observarlos mientras que están votando y hasta sacarle video y pictures. Uh, estos son observers que son republicanos, quiere, y, la, y, y la razón por eso es más pa, para intimidar, quieren intimidarnos, que la, los, las personas que están ahí, que van a votar, ven a alguien que los está viendo y que lo está filmando, pues es, es, se van a sentir intimidados, se van a, se, les va a dar miedo. Y ese es el propósito, de suprimir, intimidar y que, y que no vote nuestra gente. Gracias. Uh, how about the uh, Vice President of uh, uh, Johnny Mata Lula Council Number 19, Cynthia de la Rosa? Buenos días um, a todos los canales latinos que nos han venido a poner el oído y darnos su tiempo para oír la voz nuestra. I want to thank the TV channels that have come to join us to allow us to have our voice heard. Thank you for joining us. So let's talk a, just a little bit about this voter suppression bill. Make no mistake, it is written with specific intent to intimidate and stop the voting process for many marginalized a cross section of the community that already has situational problems getting to voting booths. People who are sick and infirm have children, have jobs, This is done, this is being done with a specific intent. And in no way will this be condoned. And that is why groups like LULAC matter so greatly because we will stop you on the front line. We are ever the watchful eye. This will not go freely, you know. Uh, this is so important. Who is monitoring the monitors? Where are they going to limit the ballot boxes? And as, um, I'm so sorry, but the gentleman who said, Where there's a will, there's a way. If we can't drink water, we'll drink tequila. We'll, we are going to keep voting. It is our right. It is part of the Constitution. And we have fought long and hard to have that right. And as a female, the suffrage movement on top. So no, I am so glad to be in the initial step of motions already set forth by our council. This is not, you know, under the guise of streamlined efficiency. For who? I ask you for who? It is in no way efficient for these communities that already 
have situational problems going on. So, you know, th this Jim Crow law, uh, the old one, this is simply a new skin being slapped on the old law. So, like, we're supposed to be blinded to all of that. Absolutely not. And, um, ahora en español, a ver si me recuerdo qué tanto dije ahorita. A ver, este, bueno, con lo que estaba diciendo, el derecho de nosotros de tener el voto es un derecho que nos, la constitución, nos ha dado y hemos pagado un precio grandísimo por el hecho de votar y luego arriba de eso le pones que las mujeres también en su movimiento de tener el derecho de votar quieren pasar una ley viejísima que en este momento todavía no ha cambiado y has de pensar que es 2021 y no ha cambiado piensan que nos los van a pasar como una ley de eficiencia de, de ay vamos a hacerlo más simple no señor no señor están pasando la misma ley vieja simplemente con un traje nuevo y no podemos dejar nosotros que eso pase. En este momento, más que nunca, es tan importante usar tu derecho de votar. Y como dijo nuestro amigo, es intimidación. Intimidación. Lo que nos quieren hacer. Pero nosotros no los doblamos. Para nada. Y siempre está el ojo viendo que no pasen de este tipo de cosas. Recuerden que va a tomar toda la comunidad para la ah. que nuestra voz se use. Gracias. 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 Uh, Jeff, uh, uh, you, you have the floor. Oh, that was, that was pretty powerful. Um, my Spanish is awful. Mi español es muy malo. Me llamo uh, Jeff Reese, uh, el presidente de Houston Peace and Justice Center. Uh, I guess Posi Justica. Um, anyway, we are a 501c3 organization, so we are technically non-political. But this hit us where uh, it hurts, and we're standing with the Greater Houston Coalition for Justice. And I'm going to read this because my, my words aren't so good, but we denounce any and all attempts to pass SB7 and HB6 as a concerted effort to restrict voter access in Texas. We are opposed to any and all legislation that would limit or curtail an el eligible voter's ability to exercise his or her constitutionally guaranteed right to vote, regardless of political party or affiliation. HPJC feels that any politician who is in favor of these voter suppression efforts is voting against the very constituents who elected them. We do not support individual candidates, but we do take on issues, and this is one issue that resonates with our membership. HPJC recognizes the voter suppression efforts behind these bills and believes that they are an attempt to disenfranchise certain citizens from accessing and participating in a fair and impartial election. The alert power and the siren song of money are hard to ignore, but your responsibility as elected officials is to each and every one of us. We hope that you find in you, you a moral compass that guides you to your representative government. Our members stand along with the Greater Coalition for Justice and will do everything in our power to hold any elected official accountable for actions regarding individual freedom and liberty, irrespective of political parties. That's our official stance, and uh, we are an umbrella organization, and we represent many, many different organizations, and we are proud to be part of the coalition. And that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I'm also going to, uh, Sylvester Brown is our traveling globetrotter with the 
Black Heritage Society is in California, and he, you're next. Well, thank you, uh, thank you, Johnny. Uh, but uh, 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 brother Reese, uh, you said it very, very well. And uh, of course, our organization has uh, been a part of the, uh, the coalition for uh, some time ever since it was created uh, by Johnny. And uh, we, we stand firm on making sure that uh, accountability for the leader of the uh, departments, the uh, law enforcement department uh, responsible uh, for their leadership basically pretty much uh, should be responsible for the activities uh, that, uh, and the training that uh, the officers undergo. Uh, for a number of years, uh, you know, uh, there has been complaints uh, many of our young people have complained for a many, many years, and uh, it went silent to the ears of, of many of the uh, law enforcement leaders. Uh, I am hopeful that uh, uh, given the, uh, the social conditions and the, uh, and the, uh, the, the blatant denial of, of just basic rights uh, that has been uh, violated by many of uh, uh, the law enforcement uh, is just unconscionable. And uh, I think this is a time that we are going to have to reckon, okay, with, uh, with the actions and the activity of the uh, law enforcement, but more specifically, uh, those who, are, who head those departments. Uh, uh, to include the uh, mayor and uh, uh, and the governor uh, of the of the state of Texas, and and for that, uh, 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 any of the uh, uh, municipalities uh, here in, in in the city of Houston uh, and surrounding areas, specifically when we talk about uh, the things that are taking place. It seems though uh, every day, uh, once a month, there's always tragedy that strikes uh, our community and the, uh, the oppressed and the marginalized. Uh, uh, it's time that, that we take a position and hold the leaders responsible. And uh, I appreciate uh, the number of the members in our organization who, uh, who stands with the coalition uh, to ensure that, uh, that uh, justice uh, uh, we receive justice and uh, we uh, petition the court uh, to hold those uh, responsible who violate and harm individuals in our community. So with that, I'll go back ahead and pass it back over to uh, uh, Johnny. Uh, I appreciate it and I'm always excited uh, uh, to be a part of the coalition as I represent the Black Heritage Society as executive director. Uh, Johnny, you know that uh, I cut my teeth with uh, Ovi Duncan Tail. And uh, I am just excited uh, to be a part of something that's worthy, okay, of basically uh, uh, talking and, and representing our community, especially when it comes to the oppressed and the marginalized people. So uh, again, thank you, John. Thank you at the Black Heritage Society. Uh, we wanna just throw in a couple of things that, uh, some of the legislators did not have in mind. And like they say, you don't know what you wish for. Uh, let's talk about economics. Uh, numbers, a boycott in Arizona, widely perceived as anti-immigrant costs the state more than $100 million. In North Carolina, the anti-gender bathroom bill led to boycott by sports uh, leagues in 2016, and it caused the state $3.75 billion, according to the Associated Press analysis. Uh, so what's happening in, and of course, uh, already initiated in um, Georgia, which is not only the lawsuits, but as well as uh, the sport world pulling out uh, an event. Uh, and then furthermore, 
I don't think that our community <clears throat> is going to sit down and let us be rolled over by this uh, anti-voter suppression legislation. So anybody can jump in if you want to add to um, other items that have not been considered and that we haven't already covered. Also, this is a good opportunity for anybody from the news media who may have a question of any of the members, any of the speakers, or any of the groups that are, are participating. Este es un buen tiempo de hacer una pregunta que tenga el medio de difusión. Okay. I, I also failed to recognize my distinguished leader, Maria Garcia, for a brief uh, word. I, I noticed that she's on. And uh, so, Maria, uh, is that, you want to add something to our the remarks that have already been said? Yes, Johnny, thank you for having me. Um, am I on? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, I would like to add that um, I, I was able to work the uh, mobile voting booths, drive-through booths uh, this past year. And uh, uh, as I witnessed the people that were coming in to vote, uh, both parties, I noticed some of them had their wheelchairs in their back seat. Some of them were amputees. Some of them were senior citizens that could not walk. Some of them were, um, um, you know, I, I, I think I saw a military gentleman. I couldn't ask him. I'm limited to asking questions, uh, but uh, one of them was an amputee uh, soldier and, uh, most of them that went through there, they, they all have a story. And unfortunately, we had a long line. Uh, so I didn't have time to listen to their stories. But, um, but I think that this falls under discrimination, uh, what they're doing to the disability uh, individuals. Uh, the act that was passed, uh, the ADA that was passed by the legislature uh, was the uh, American Disability Act that is discriminatory to allowing them to have access to public facilities, to social life. Uh, and I think that under that law, which it is a law, uh, that law is continuously brought up once a year, uh, the research that I've done on it, uh, because they continue to leave them out, they continue to uh, deprive them of the rights that they have as individuals. Um, the law states that um, it should be inclusive. Any, any uh, public uh, efforts made should be inclusive, including all disabilities uh, individuals. It should have uh, provide them opportunities. And so just with those two things, um, um, this new uh, voter suppression law that they're trying to pass excludes them. It deprives them of those opportunities. It deprives them as the social society that they need to be included on. And it is uh, against the ADA, uh, the American Disability Act law. Thank, Thank you, you, Maria. Uh, we're uh, grateful that the media has attended our news conference. And we hope we appeal to the general public to pick up the phone, do your emails, and let your opinion be heard, especially to those legislators that are proposing this loss. And then to your representative, asking them to reject these proposals. At the same time, uh, queremos uh, dirigir 
la palabra a los latinos o las personas que estén limitadas en inglés, que agar, le pidan a sus hijos y a sus hijas que llamen al Congreso de Texas y denuncien estas leyes y este, manden cartas, hagan lo que todo posible, porque esto va a afectar a los votantes en el futuro. Les quiero dar las gracias a todos. I want to thank all the people that were listening. And we need to stop this kind of legislation in Texas. And again, I want to thank the media for uh, your participation. And we look forward to fighting this bill. In particular, uh Uh, Fox News uh, uh, and K KTRK, uh, KHOU, uh, Univision, Estrella 61, uh, and everyone else that uh, from the news media that uh, that joined us. Uh, thank you so much for your participation. Muchas gracias por la participación de todo el medio de difusión. And okay. a los canales hispanos, a uh, Univision y Estrella 61. Okay, so with that, we're going to end our news conference and um, we will uh, call if other developments take place uh, on the media and the public support. Thank you. We have